how to make a media clip loop in DaVinci Resolve 18.6. Inside your project's edit window, holding Ctrl and press I to insert a media clip into your project. Use Command instead of Ctrl if you are a Mac user. Go to Effects. Underneath Toolbox, select Effects. Go to click and drag a Fusion Composition clip to your edit timeline. By default, this particular clip will have a duration of 5 seconds. Right click on the Fusion Composition Edit and go to Open in Fusion page. Go to find your newly inserted media file inside the Media Pool Master Bin. If I were to left click once on the bottom right icon inside the Media File thumbnail, the clip attributes reveal that the total duration for this media file is 5 seconds. Click and drag this to your nodes grid alongside Media Out 1. Your chosen clip will be represented by a node named Media In 1. Click and hold your mouse button on the box to the right of Media In 1 and drag your mouse cursor to the yellow arrow which appears alongside Media Out 1 to make a connection so that your chosen media file will appear in your final rendered product. If I return to my edit window and change the duration of the Fusion Composition clip by selecting this and holding in Control and pressing D, I will double the duration from 5 to 10 seconds and click Change. Since my chosen video clip only has a duration of 5 seconds, once the red playhead passes the 5 second mark on the Fusion Composition clip on the edit timeline, where my chosen video clip ends, the preview screen goes blank. In order to have my chosen video clip loop continuously, return to the Fusion page. With Media In 1 selected, go to Inspector, tick the Loop checkbox underneath Image, and in doing this we can see that the global in and out parameters change, with a grey line spread out from the first to the last frame in my Fusion Composition clip. Please bear in mind that if you expand the Fusion Composition edit on your timeline further, such as here for example where I've increased this from 10 to 11 seconds of screen duration, the looping effect fails to show. In order to resolve this issue we need to return to the Fusion page once again, and ensure that the global out pointer is positioned at the end of the line alongside this variable name. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.